Our first alert weather team is standing by. Meteorologist John Elliott here in the studio. Let's start though with meteorologist Tony Sadiku with the Mobile Weather Lab at the Union Square Green Market. Hi, Tony. Hi there, Cindy. Activity picking up here in Union Square. A lot of folks heading to work, as you can see behind us. Tents are being set up for the green market. Happens here every Friday. They're kicking up at 8 o'clock. On the other side, there's a film crew setting up. Everybody wanting the weather to cooperate, and so far, so good. But the moisture is returning. You can feel it. And you can see it too, a lot of clouds overhead. Temperature now 80 degrees, warm start to the day in the city. There is a bit of a heat index factor, but we're still retaining some of those low dew points. That starts to change this afternoon. Humidity comes back from the south, as I'll show you there on the map. And those higher dew points translate some more of a steamier feel heading into this afternoon. So be ready for it. I know temperatures are going to climb quite as much today as you'll see in the day planner with extra clouds. Uh, we'll probably end up maybe just shy of normal for this time of the year. Highs upper 80, so we don't move the needle as much uh, under a lot of clouds, but still you want the umbrella handy periods of showers as well as the sticky air that still will feel like about 90 degrees. But we're back in it tonight. Manhattan Henge returns, which means that theoretically you can see the full sun in between the buildings of the city. 14th, 23rd, 34th, 42nd Street, best viewing, 820 the time right before sunset. That's when you want to get there. The question is, will the weather cooperate as we'll be dodging some rain? Um, and we want folks to be prepared for that, John. And we got a couple rounds of rain headed our way. Any chance that over the next two evenings we'll be able to uh, enjoy it? Ironically, Tony, it's probably a better chance tomorrow night, but we'll time it out. Also, I can't wait to find out what they're filming. Uh, see what that film crew is up to there. So here's the deal. Um, we've got active weather today and tomorrow. Here's a quick snapshot. Heavy rain right now in parts of Ocean County. We shared those devastating images from Vermont. Remember, that was rainfall rates in excess of two inches an hour. We don't see anything like that. We don't even see severe thunderstorms served up with this round. That would mean wind threshold at 60 miles an hour. Our concern though is going to be flash flooding with the potential for one to three inches of rain ultimately. So let's dive right into the model data. Between now and 630, some of that heavier rain right on top of Tony and also into parts of Long Island. So if this verifies and dew points are I think are sufficiently high enough where even if it's not this intense, you are going to see one round of showers between now and say 730 and then watch what happens into the mid morning hour. We're enjoying some television with Cindy Shu at nine and it's relatively quiet and then into the afternoon. Definitely, you know, not that much activity for Manhattan Henge going to be a close call because there will be some clouds, but also some showers and storms in the area. And then Friday night fun. Well, remember, you've got the possibility of some isolated storms, isolated the key word Saturday morning. We're going to make lots of stops on Saturday. See how you have storms on again, off again, on again, off again, on again, off again, right through the afternoon into Saturday night. So just be careful. Saturday's busier than today. And then don't forget, it is just really hot on your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, beginning of another heat wave. So let's keep the cats cool. Oh. So this is Cheeto Puff Mazinski. Oh. I love that name. Cheeto, Cheeto Puff, Puff Mazinski. <laughs> Lauren sent this picture in from Carlstadt. I just want to show you. You know, now when Cheeto hangs out inside, Cheeto likes Cheeto's cup. So this is, uh, I mean, that is a cool cat to have its own little mug. But it is going to be hot. Uh, over the weekend. And remember, stormy today for Cheeto. Mm. So make sure your puffs stay dry and safe over the next few days. And for Feline Friday, we need those cats. Keep them coming. Send us a picture and we'll try to uh, share your pretty kitty picture on air. Just make sure that you're ready. Wait, Mary Calvi, your mom has two. Yes, oh, we've already exactly. Send them yeah, yeah we, we've already. Oh, you did them. feature yeah. them. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Pino and Lino. But I want to do brothers. I want to use fun. Cheeto Puff because I know you like I love Cheetos. Them. You know, have you ever tried the white ones? Wow. Those Amazing. are really good. Fantastic. <laughs> and you don't get your fingers orange. Menu. Anyway, we uh, trade, you know. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's get you over to First Alert Traffic 620 right now. And here is traffic reporter Guy Stanier with the latest. Good morning, Mary. We're going to start with our maps in the Bronx. You can see lots of red on the westbound side of the Cross Bronx Express Expressway. And we have an indicator on the George Washington Bridge. We're going to take a live look outside at the bridge itself. An accident involving a potential fuel spill as two lanes closed on the outbound upper level. Westbound delays are back to about the Bronx River Parkway. We're starting to see a little rubbernecking on the inbound side. About a 15-minute wait at the toll plaza getting into the city. The Lincoln and Holland tunnels are currently delay-free. Alternate side parking is in effect today citywide. Mary and Cindy, back to you.